Hello everyone, this is Lolly. Today I'm going to talk about making little gummy bears out of hot glue sticks. So when I was at Creativation last year, I met the Ad Tech people, um, which stands for Adhesive Technology. And this year they were there again advertising their Drip Less hot glue gun. This is high temp. It's drip less, meaning it's not dripless because they can't say that unless it's 100%. And they say this is about 90%. And it's also low stringing. And so I <laughs> I was given one of these um, in my VIP swag bag from Creativation. And so that was upon arrival at Creativation. So I pur purposely sought them out and went to their booth and talked to them. And the first day I went, they were making these. And their, um, Chris, their uh, employee there at the booth, was working on these. And so what she did, she had us turning glass bowls kind of like uh, depression glass bowls would have all the etching on them just rubbed a little bit of lotion on them and then squirted hot glue and a big blob over it and waited until it got kind of cloudy and then peeled it off punched a hole and made a charm out of it so very very easy to do and the next day if you went back on the second day they were working on these little adorable gummy bears so i'm going to zoom in so you can see those Aren't they cute? And they have these little rings inside. I put this one in there kind of bad, so it's going to be hard for me to sort of straighten that situation out. Okay, so now I want to show you what I've been doing when I started playing with my hot gun, my hot glue gun. So first I want to mention that um, this company won an award at Creativation. They did uh, a award ceremony for the new products at Creativation and this won one of the three awards for new product. When you open your gun, if you get one of these, when you open it, make sure you read your instructions that come with it because it tells you how to use it for the very first time. The very first time you use it, you have to burp it, meaning you put in your glue stick. After it's hot, you, um, you put in the glue stick, wait three to five minutes for it to warm up, and then put something to catch your drips and then just start pumping your handle all the way, releasing it all the way, releasing it. It said to do it three to five times, I believe. Um, but I found that I had to do it a little more than that. And what you're going to hear is the air in the system cleaning out. And so it will be burping and there will be a lot of air also in the uh, glue piece. You could see this is how much I had to uh, push out of it to get it completely burped. Once it once it's done, you don't have to do that anymore. So I just had this silicone mat to collect all of that. So it's heating now. You're going to notice how nice and clean my tip is. And that's because it didn't drip and didn't string. It didn't string unless, as I was working on my project, I accidentally dipped this tip into the hot glue I had already squirted out. If I did that, it would string. But if I just held it above and squirted, then it would not drip on me. Okay, so what I got was this from Amazon, and this is a gummy bear mold. And it comes in a set of three, so you can share these with a friend if you get a set. And I have some leftover um, products in here from my last episode. What I did, I was playing around and I got to thinking, uh, I was thinking about Care Bears. Remember those nice little stuffed animals that had something cute on their belly? What if I were to make one of these um, glue, hot glue gun gummy bears, but would put something inside in his belly? So again, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit for you. So here's what I did. I put a sequin in this one. Can you see that makes his belly look kind of pinkish right there? And then this one has a bead in his belly. Turn him sideways. And this one has a little kind of red diamond gemstone and I put it higher to look like a heart. And this one I just did blue and colored him. This one has a green sequin in him for his belly. And this one has kind of an orange holographic donut shape ring sequin. This one, I mixed in some of those tiny little metallic uh, dot bead type things. And I just mixed the beads in with a straight pin. 
And then I also had this that someone gave, gave me as a friend, which is a Mod Podge silicone um, mold. And it's way thicker and heavier than the Gummy Bear one. And I filled this in with glue gun, with the hot glue. And, oops, excuse me. And I used Mod Podge and glitter on it. Now, speaking of Mod Podge and glitter, I took one of the plain gummies and I didn't put a ring in him, so I had no way of holding him. So I put a pin in his top, dipped him into the Mod Podge. After he was all cool, I dipped him. And I used a brush to brush off the excess and make it nice and smooth. And then I rolled him in my ultra fine glitter, my micro fine, and let it dry overnight. Doesn't he look like a sugar coated gummy? So these ones would be cute like that as well. Um, so. Okay, let's start playing around, and I'll show you how I did these. Thanks to Chris from AdTech for her example. Okay, so let's see if I can get you where you can see really close up. Now, I realize we're not on an angle, so when I put my glue gun over there, it's going to kind of block the way. So let's see if I can hold it up just a little bit like this. When I'm doing mine, I like to squirt it a little bit into all of his feet to make sure I get it all the way down there. And then I just, let me get this out of the way. And then I just hold it up and squirt it in there really well. So now if I dip that tip in there, now that strung a little bit because I was touching it, but if I don't touch this into the um, what I've done, in here, it tends to work a lot better. So let me do this one as well. So right now, because I'm going down and I'm touching the glue, it would string just a little bit. But if I come back and just kind of give it another coat, then it doesn't string. And so I have like a straight pin that I was using to level it out if I had a problem. And then I just take one of these jewelry rings, I like to grab it by the tweezers, and just kind of put it in the top at an angle. I'm pushing it down in there to get it nice and wet with glue. And here we go. Now, if you want to put anything in his belly, uh, what I was doing, let's see if we get one of these out here. Uh, ba Let me get a sequin out to show you. Oh, I just got more than one. Okay. So this time I am going to fill him a little less than half full. I'm just putting some in there and then I'm going to take my tweezers and grab a oops I'm not even on camera because it's hard when you're zoomed in I'm going to grab one of my sequin sequins which is all staticky grab a sequin drop it in there on his belly you do have time to work kind of push it down just a little bit make sure it's centered if not I can always correct it and then I'm going to come in here and finish filling him up and that's all I did. Now, Chris from, oops, I got a new glue stick coming in here and it needs to grab it. Chris from AdTech tells me that if you want this to look even more clear so that you can, um, it won't be cloudy, is as soon as you're done filling that up is to dunk the tray with the hot glue down into really cold water. And that will give it more of a clear, shiny look. There we go. Now, all we do is let this set Oops, sorry. Now all we do is let this set until it turns cloudy like these. Okay, I'm going to unplug my glue gun so I'm not, um, let's put this aside. Anyway, so I don't want to hurt myself on the glue gun. Now the other thing you do, once these are dry and you have that ring in there, I had bought, I had purchased these on Amazon and I see mine are a little shorter than hers, I think just a pinch and they're called charm lanyards or cell phone la charm lanyards just put the loop through and then feed the hook through the loop and pull it and now you can hook this onto whatever you want or if you don't like doing it that way you can use the hook part and hook that on the ring and now you have this loop here that you need to thread through something I think I like having the hook part on the top. So what they had done at Creativation was they had a whole series of these cuties. Let's see if I can get this one. I'm going to pull back out here. 
it's easier to stay on camera that way. They had a whole series, a whole set of these hanging from the same ring, and it was just adorable. Well, like one of each color. And oh, speaking of color, what she was using is alcohol markers to color these. So I colored the blue and the purple ones there, and when I got home, I colored the um, blue one with a Copic marker. Um, you can also try just alcohol inks and brushing them on, but you also, uh, it's, it's difficult to get more of an even coat on there. So totally how, depends on how you want to do that. So now this one, because I didn't put a ring in it, I could take this out and I could put an eye pin in it like that and, and glue it down into the, into the top here. And then I would have a loop on the top. And that's one thing I could do with that gummy right there. So now I have these. The red one has a slightly longer um, cord on it. I've got the blue one. Let's get him a cord. I could exchange the cord on the red one and get so that they're all matching. So I'll give you a link down below to this particular glue gun on Amazon. There, they're so adorable. <laughs> Aren't they cute? Now, I'm not sure, but let's test something out here. If I can find it, I'm going to try this, which is the Deco Color Premium Gold Marker. Got to shake it up really well. And I think I want a pair of pliers to hold on to this right there. I know she had used some gold on one of hers, and I'm not sure if this was what she used, but we can play around and see how well this colors. Ooh, that looks really good. Might take a little while because it's kind of fiddly to have all of the uh, nooks and crannies that are on this little cutie. Now, one thing I could do is one side and then rest him on his back and let that dry. And then I can flip him over and do his back. It's like he's at a sauna. He's getting gold plated. And it takes a little practice to know how much hot glue to put in the mold because um, I noticed that some of mine are fuller than others and some of them have little like mold lines that need to be trimmed off. Let's see, I think that looks like I've about got it there. This little guy is so cute. Okay, let me get something else. Okay, I have a larger jump ring here and I can use that to hook these ones onto. So look at that on a charm. These would be really fun for um, making gifts or crafts at a children's party too, because kids love gummy bears. And then look at all these ones with the little goodies inside like I've done here, they are fun. This one I'm not as happy with, with the little um, tiny little dotted beads in him, but I like the one with the heart. He also has some added little tiny, uh, of those little tiny beads in him, just because I didn't do a good job of <laughs> cleaning out my mold. But I love the fact that he has that tiny little heart there. Okay, let's uh, see how this is doing. Now, you can see that these are getting cloudy right now but not quite ready enough to pull out. This one is not. This one may be. Feels good. It's still slightly warm to touch, so I'm going to let that cool off a little bit more. Okay, my gold one is ready to flip over and try the other side. Oh, he is too, too cute. He's, he's got the Midas touch. You could probably also use a... Um, a gold jewelry ring in there instead of a silver one. That would be even cuter yet. Okay, we're going to let him dry. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is take this first one. While the gold one's drying, I'm going to take this first one out of here. Just pops right out. 
and I'm going to color him with a green because I think that's the next color I need. This is not a very dark green, and maybe this is still a little too warm, I don't know, but once you get both sides colored, it stays a little better. I mean, it's a little darker than just doing one side. So it kind of comes alive, and after a little bit, you can add a second coat if you want. I don't mind that they are um, kind of mottled in color. They're not consistent. If you had a problem with feeling like this marker wasn't permanent enough, you could always spray a fixative on it as well. So let's let him dry just a little bit. If I smudge all of any of this gold from being impatient, I can always read, just give him a little touch up. Oh, that is too cute. Too cute. Again, let's lay him down. He seems like after he's cooling, I see areas that need to be redone. And then this guy is pretty good. Now we can add and there we have it. Now I would love to, I look for my um, eye pins and I don't have any more right now so I can't show putting an eye pin in him with a loop on the outside so we can add the little glittery guy but we, I will eventually add him to this little keychain. So I hope that gave you some ideas to use. Again, this uh, gummy bear idea was not my idea. It was from the Ad Tech booth at Creativation. Look down below for some links, and I think you're going to enjoy this hot glue gun and the little gummy bears. Thank you so much for watching.